Hello. Today's practical English grammar lesson will be about the indefinite articles a and an. So, the form a is used before a noun beginning with a consonant or a vowel with a consonant sound. A man, a university, a European. The form an is used before nouns beginning with a vowel or words beginning with a mute h. Note that vowels are a, e, i, o, and u. Examples include an apple. An egg, an island, an hour. All individual letters spoken with a vowel sound. An L plate, an MP. When I say MP, I'm not making the M sound. Rather, it has a vowel sound, so we use an rather than a. A or an are the same for all genders. A man, a woman, an actor, an actress. A or an are used before a singular noun that is countable when it is mentioned for the first time and represents no particular person or thing. I need a visa, they live in a flat, keyboards and ice cream. These objects are all discrete, meaning they can be counted and they are all singular. It can also be used before a singular countable noun, which is used as an example of a class of things. A car must be insured. All cars, or any car, must be insured. A child needs love. All children need, or any child needs love. With a noun component, including nouns of professions, such as, it was an earthquake, she will be a dancer. Also in certain expressions of quantity, such as a lot of, a great many, a great deal of, a couple, and a dozen. These things are countable or discrete. It must be used with certain numbers. A hundred, a thousand. Before half, and when half follows a number. One and a half kilos. But if you're just saying half a kilo, there is no A before the half. There is an A after the half. The same applies with other fractions, such as a third, a quarter, and a fifth. A third, a quarter, a fifth. You can also say one quarter, one third, one fifth. Also in expressions of price, speed, and ratio. A or an work in the same way that the word per does. Five pence a kilo is the same as five pence per kilo. 60 kilometers an hour is the same as 60 kilometers per hour. A or an are also used in exclamations before singular or countable nouns such as, such a long queue, what a pretty girl. Plural nouns have no article, because they are plurals. Articles are only used for singular nouns. The A can be placed before a Mr, Mrs or Miss and a surname. A Mr Smith, A Mrs Smith, A Miss Smith. A Mr Smith means a man called Smith and it implies that he is a stranger to the speaker. Mr. Smith without the A means that the speaker knows Mr. Smith, or he knows of his existence. When we omit A or an, we do this before plural nouns. A or an have no plural form. The plural of a dog is simply dogs. An egg is eggs. We do not say an eggs or and a dogs, that is not grammatically correct. We omit a or an for uncountable nouns, before names of meals, except when these are preceded by an adjective. For example, we have a breakfast at eight. 
is different to he gave us a good breakfast. Here, there is a specific breakfast named a good breakfast, whereas we have breakfast at eight is more general and it is not specifically a singular noun. The article is also used when it is a special mean meal given to celebrate something or in someone's honour. I was invited to dinner is different to I was invited to a dinner given to welcome new ambassador. Here the dinner is given in the ambassador's honour. A or an and one are used when counting or measuring time, distance or weight. We can use a or an or one for the singular. A pound or one pound. A million pounds or one million pounds. But in a sentence that says the rent is 100 a week. A before week is not replaceable by one. You cannot say the rent is 100 one week. That doesn't make sense. But in other types of statements, a or an and one are not normally interchangeable because one plus noun usually means one only or no more than one. Whereas a or an do not specifically mean that. For example, a shotgun is no good implies that the shotgun is the wrong object. Whereas one shotgun is not good implies that one shotgun is not sufficient and you require more than one. Special uses of one include one preceding an adjective or pronoun used with another or others. One boy wanted to read, another wanted to watch TV. One day he wanted his lunch early, another day he wanted it late. One can be used before a day, a week, month, year, or a season, or before the name of a day or month to denote a particular time something happened. One night there was a terrible storm. One winter the snow fell early. One day a telegram arrived. These note a specific event or a time where a specific event had taken place. One day can also be used to mean at some future date. One day you'll be sorry you treated him so badly. You can also say someday, but this does not specifically set down a particular date. A or an and one preceding a pronoun. One is the pronoun equivalent of a or an. Did you get the tickets? Yes, I managed to get one. The plural of one used in the same way is some. Did you get tickets? Yes, I managed to get some. That is the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching.